for you, what do you find kind of some of the challenges of working within independent film are? Aside from the fact that we never have enough money or time or resources, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I think time is probably the main thing. Um, you know, you always have a shorter shoot. You always have, you know, longer shoot days uh, and just generally a more condensed time period. Obviously, the, there's disadvantages to that. I think um, as an actor, there are advantages to that, which are that you don't have to think too much. You can just sort of, you know, be in the moment. Um, so for naturalistic films, I think that's, that's a, probably a good thing. Um, for me, the, the, there aren't actually that many disadvantages. You know, I think it's more from a production standpoint that everything's so rushed. But yeah, I mean, for me, I, honestly, I would say it's, it's mainly a positive thing. You know, generally speaking, the smaller, you know, lower budget independent films I've done generally have been creatively more fulfilling. I, th I think a lot of actors would say that. And why do you think things like rain dance are so important for the film industry and the British film industry? And why do you think it's so important that things like this do continue to happen? I mean, you have to have a launching pad. You, you know, everyone's career's got to start somewhere. Uh, and I think in the current climate, you know, it's not a secret to say that you know, people are just downloading most films illegally, you know, online, some great independent films because they don't feel like they have to go to the cinema and pay 10, 15 quid to see it. You know, usually, you know, these days it tends to be, you know, 3D films, IMAX, action films. That, those are the films that get people out into the cinemas, but there's a whole, you know, massive wealth of other films um, that I think we're missing out on the cinema experience. So, yeah, I mean, the, the kind of, the film festivals like Rain Dance and many others and the platforms that launch, you know, independent films or certainly lower budget independent films, it, this is the only place you can show your stuff in a cinema first. It's the only place you can show your film in a cinema because a lot of the time they don't get a release. And if they are gonna get a release, it's usually because they've played well at festivals. So it's essential. I mean, you know, I think if it wasn't for, you know, uh, launch pads like Rain Dance and others, I mean, there would be almost no, there, there would be no new talent coming through in film, pretty much. So I'm putting you on the spot slightly. Do you have a, a favourite British independent film, maybe from the last few years that oh, you've man, seen? You can't ask me that. <laughs> saying, oh, jeez. Favourite British independent film? Yeah. Of the last few years? Yeah. I think Amy for me was very, very special. I and mean, I know that actually they did put that very much together on their own um, and independent of the kind of the system. Um, I mean, there is a film that I love that was made a few years ago called Fish Tank. I don't know if you ever saw that, the Andrew Arnold film that I think was just really, really special film. Um, I, guess, I mean, there's so many good independent films of the last few years, like Start Up and, and, and um, uh, Selfish Giant. Uh, you know, I mean, so many, but yeah, I think Fish Tank for me was really quite amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, you know what else was good as well? I love was Pride. I don't know I if that's an independent Pride. film. Yeah, Did you call it an independent film? Is, uh, yeah. That to me was kind of very British, or something like Welsh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think that that I liked. It was, you know, it wasn't just we get a lot of social realism, don't we? Which is great, but it's nice to have the more kind of fun side of Britain as well.